I want to talk to you about two people in the Bible. Two sisters. Martha and Mary. Martha and Mary were two sisters. But one was spiritual. The other one was not spiritual. Let us read here this story together. Now it happened as they went that he, Jesus, entered a certain village. And a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into the house. Pay attention. When the Bible says house, it has two meanings. The first meaning is the physical house. The second meaning is spiritual because we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So when it talks about Jesus coming to your house, it means Jesus coming into your life. So this has two meanings. All right. Martha invited Jesus into her house, but also into her life. And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his... Who was sitting at the feet of Jesus? It symbolized that Mary had humility. But Martha was not sitting there. What can we learn from this? Martha invited Jesus into her life, but was not willing to listen. This is a big problem in the church. Many people come to the church. They say, Jesus, come into my life. But they don't want to. They don't want to listen. Maybe you are in church. You accept Jesus, but you don't feel like listening. You like the prayer, the healing prayer. You like the prayer for family. You like the prayer for finance. But the moment when I ask you, please sit down, let us read the word of God, you feel tired. You say, this is the part that I wanted to pass quickly. Because I want to go back to the prayer. And I want to go back to the music. You like the prayer, you like the music. But the message, you don't have patience for the message. Because there are many Christians. They only like to receive. But they don't like to Hear the word of God. You are at home. You make your prayer. But you don't take much time to read the word of God. You say, Lord, speak to me. But God never speaks or speaks hardly. Why? Because you don't take the time to read. Some people during the moment of the message, they... They feel like now it's the right time to go to the toilet. You know what is the right time to go to the toilet? If you really need to go to the toilet. And I don't want you to do anything in your pants. Right? <laughs> Let's all agree that. You know what's a good time to go to the toilet? When we play a song. We just sing a song, right? That's a good time to go to the toilet. When you are spiritual, you understand. Now, I can miss the song, but I cannot miss the message. That's spirituality. I can miss the song, but I cannot miss. That's, that's what Mary did. Mary was not working. Mary was just sitting and listening. Let's read the next verse. But Martha was distracted with much serving. Many people... They miss out, they lose out, because they always get distracted. And how many people, they have a car crash. Not a car crash because they drive. 
they have a car crash in a relationship. They have a car crash in a marriage. They have a car crash with friends. They always crash their life. Not because of bad luck, but because of distractions. They don't pay attention. God is speaking to them, but they don't pay attention. The Holy Spirit is trying to communicate with them, but they don't pay attention to the Holy Spirit. They are in the church because Mary was in the house. But how about Martha? Martha was in the house. Martha was not living in sin, but there was a problem. She wasn't spiritual. Not living in sin, but in the church. But no result, no progress, not spiritual, always distracted, inviting Jesus to come into her life, but not listening to Jesus. So you may be in the church, you may not live in sin, but maybe you don't experience the glory of God. You don't experience the splendor of God. You don't see the power of God in your life. You don't see the power of God in your health, your finance, your heart, your mind, your soul. Because you always get distracted in the moments when you read the Bible. In the moments, even when you're in the church, your mind is distracted because you feel like, oh, did I get any text message? What are the notifications? What did my sister post? What is she having for breakfast? What is she having for lunch? You know, your mind is not in the church. Just like Martha. Let's continue to the next Bible verse. Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. How do you know that you are Martha? How do you know you are Mary in the church? And perhaps you're not living in sin. Because Martha was always worried about the exterior. But Mary was concerned and worried about the interior, the salvation. If you are only worried about the exterior, I'm not talking about being well-dressed. You should feel comfortable to be well-dressed. That's okay. But I'm talking about external problems, external issues, people's opinion. You're only worried about everything on the outside, and you are not worried about the condition of your soul, the condition of your kaluluwa, the condition of your heart, the condition of your kaliktasan, the condition of your salvation. Mary was worried about her spiritual condition. That's the difference between Martha and Mary, between those that please God and those that do not please God. But one thing is, only one thing God is asking. And Mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken away from her. Let me, let me read it for you in a way that you can easily understand. Okay? Only one thing is necessary. And Mary has Chosen the good part. Mary has made the right choice. Which will not be taken away. Taken away what? The salvation. Your salvation will not be taken away from her. Mary's salvation will not be taken away. But how about Martha's salvation? Martha was not living in sin okay she was in the house she was in the church but she's already stopped listening to the word of god stop listening to the holy spirit 
Jesus never said, Martha, you will be lost. But this is a very clear message. If you're not careful, if you don't take care, if you don't repent, if you don't turn to the altar, there's a possibility that your salvation will be taken away. Not by Jesus. Because of Martha's negligence, foolishness, immaturity, lack of spirituality. You can be saved today, but if you don't take care, you can lose it tomorrow. Twice a year, bishops and pastors from UCKG make their pilgrim to the Holy Land and bring back holy oil from Israel. The holy oil will be distributed free of charge on a first-come, first-served basis to those attending one of the prayer meetings at UCKG. Entrance is free, but seating is limited. For weekly service times, call UCKG Prayer Line on 2827-2525. Universal Church of the Kingdom of God, helping you to make a new beginning.